Hello everybody, Christian from Treasure Town here, and today we are going to be unboxing over a pound of silver, and it's making my one pound scale go blank, so I'm excited to take a look at what's inside. Bunch of world coins. Um, I paid, uh, and I think this says right here, it's 16.82 um, ounces, um, approximately 430 bucks for it, so um, let's, you know, take a look at what's inside. Um, I also paid for it when silver was a little bit lower, so... Um, Anyways, should be a good deal, but I'm also curious to see the mix I get. I haven't bought from this seller before. And we'll just start out, I guess, and see what's inside. We've got a 1929 50% half crown from King George V, and the British stuff is very frequently found in, um, you know, these types, as is the Canadian 1967 80% dollar. Um, so not a huge surprise there. Here we've got in 1952, 50 piastres from Lebanon, um, which is interesting. Mm, we've got uh, 50 kurush, 1947 um, from Turkey, which is great. Um, let's see what else. 1941, we've got a Canadian 10 cent coin. Um, we've got a 100 francs, 1953 from Morocco. Um, interesting, another neat country in a good condition, 1921 Canadian 10 cent coin. Uh, this looks possibly Australian and it is 1943 S minted in San Francisco. Um, we've got the Ram on there. Um, very nice. Uh, here we've got one Lira 1947, um, Turkish item. Uh, we've got a 500 Lira from Italy, 83.5%. Um, we've got, let's see, a Canadian 1966 50 cent coin from, or Baham, Bahamian, sorry, not Canadian. Um, a Harp 1937 uh, shilling from Ireland. Got a smaller Dutch 1855 cent coin. 1957 10 cent from Canada. 1933 six pence. 1916 French one franc, 83.5%. Um, a Canadian dime and a 20 drachma from 1960 from Greece. Got a big time medal right here. 1975 from Italy. Um, Paul the sixth, the Pope. Um, curious what, let's see if it has a purity on here. Um, it says Italy down there. I'm not sure if you know the purity of this item. I'd be very interested to know or find out. Um, back here, still in the mint wrap, a 1965 beautiful Swiss 5 franc. Um, nice pickup. A pretty distressed Cuban item, 1953 of Marti. Um, and here's a 1934, probably 5 lire from the Vatican City. Cool pickup. It's been a nice mix so far. 1954 tennis scudos from Portugal. A 1921 shilling and an Italian 19, 1863 one lire. Super cool. Um, nice condition Venezuelan Bolivar. I think that that's uh, one. Yeah, it's one Bolivar in, again, pretty sparkly condition. Here we've got a pretty distressed 1928 Irish 28 or 1928 Pride Florin. Um, 1919 Venezuelan Bolivar. Um, or maybe a little bit more than a boulevard. And then over here, we've got a French 1872. Should be a one franc coin. Um, could be a two franc, but I think it's a one franc based off of the size. Um, some Canadian and British items. Here's a little bit older, uh, 1901, three pence Canadian. That one looks Taiwanese. Um, that's interesting. That could have a little bit of premium. Any Taiwanese silver. I always have an extra look at because um, I think it can be pretty valuable. 1920 five cents from Canada. 1921 quarter golden. Very cool. Um, 1934 New Zealand half crown. Um, King George V. Uh, let's see what else. We've got a 1950 Canadian 50 cent coin. Um, got a six pence 1942 from Australia and a 1928 half crown. Let's see, big Swedish coin, a little bit clean, but 1938 two kroner. Awesome. Um, we've got a 1918 one franc from France, 1968 Canadian, 50%. Uh, this item is probably low percentage silver. Um, I don't actually recognize it. 50 ore. 
from Norway. Um, I'm not totally sure what date it is, though. I can't see anything. Yeah, if you know, let me know. Oh, is that 1914? Okay, wow, that'll be silver. Earlier um, type as well. Uh, there's an unknown Canadian 25 cents and a 1951 25 cents from the big Dominican Republic. I'm excited about these Taiwanese silver coins. I'm hoping that they're valuable because um, that's the second one that we got. And we got a florin and a 10 francs from 1930 from France. Um, a lot of additional minor items. Here, though, is a Papua New Guinea item. One shilling, 1938. Super fun. There is a Dutch... 1896, 25 cents, and 1933 Swedish, 25 ore. Um, we've got a 1901, 50 centimes from Belgium. 1919, 20 centavos. 1959 Canadian item. 1918, 10 cent. Um, 1872 Canadian, 5 cent coin. Mm, here's an 1874, 5 cents from also Canada, but hold, 1903 Hong Kong, 5 cents, very fun, more Netherlands East Indies, 1929 quarter golden, and a tenth golden from 1928, so some older items, Canadian dimes on top of that, here we've got a 1944D Philippines, US, uh, 20 centavos, very nice, Dominican item, 1960 Mozambique, um, Portuguese Mozambique, and a 1941 Canadian 10 cent. Let's see, we've got more Panamanian here, um, which is welcome. Um, here we've got a 1943 sixpence from Australia. Let's see, this is, Ch I would have said Chilean? No, it says Colombia, 1921, 20 centavos. Um, a 1936 sixpence from Australia. One Pango, a silver from Hung Hungary, 1926. Let's see what this coin is. Ooh, this is a uh, Scheidemunze, means it's like less is there than there should be. It's 1 30th of a taller from Prussia under uh, Friedrich Wilhelm III. So probably early 1800s would be my guess on the date, but I don't think we'll get to find out. Um, a damaged 19 1900. That should be Mexican five centavos, 92.7%, 90.27% silver. Canadian there. More Canadian, 1905 Canada. Let's see what this one is. 1902, five cent coin from Canada. Here's a Greek 1873, one drachma. And then a 1909, five cent coin from Canada. Mm. Let's see what else we've got. 1840, hold. Sea Liberty Dime. Um, we've got a 1936 sixpence, a 1905 25 cents from Canada. Mm, a Panamanian, a little bit scratched up, 1932. That could be a little bit lower mintage quarter Balboa. Um, and another one, nice. That one's a little bit better shape. Here, this one looks German to me, but if you have an idea what it is, don't hesitate to put it in the comments. This one looks like a 10 soldi coin. Um, from 1795 or 179 I think 1796 from maybe the Duchy of Savoy but I could be off on that specific the specifics of that one 1904 10 ore from Sweden I think Venezuela 1919 Bolivar Canadian 1929 10 cent coin let's see what else we've got a 1850 Spanish two reals um, unknown small silver coin 1950 there's a 1859 shilling older item from britain and another 1899 10 ore coin we've got a 1940 10 cents 1909 five cents from canada and we're wrapping everything up here we've got let's see canadian 1917 10 cents 1914 five cents 1916 three cent piece a half shilling from Austria. Got a 1910 Canadian 50 cents that's been marked up quite a bit. Um, and two more Canadian 10 cent coins. So exciting stuff. I'm particularly interested in some of the Taiwanese, um, this big time metal, and a few of the other items. So um, looking forward to seeing the comments and going to edit this video, get it posted, and see what you think.
Thanks for watching the video and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, be sure to visit our website, treasuretown.com, to stay up to date on everything going on on the channel and possibly get some great deals on coins and collectibles. We look forward to seeing you on our future videos and best wishes until then.